Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Time for Market Monday, where I go through all of the best market deals currently in NHL 22's Hockey Ultimate Team. Now, before I get into the video, guys, if you're new to the channel, maybe you just picked up the game for the holidays, these are the videos that you want to subscribe and have notifications on for, because over the last few weeks, every time I've kind of pointed out something in the auction house, it's really, really kind of corrected itself fairly quickly after this video dropped. So this is one of the videos that you want to make sure you get the notification for. Just go through it real quick. I usually keep them about 10 minutes long, and Hopefully, I can make you some coins or save you some, depending on what you're trying to do. Now, obviously, Team of the Year dropped, and today's video is going to be a lot about Team of the Year. Uh, it is one of the most expensive events, but also one of the best events in terms of the cards that you're going to require in this event, especially considering what we've got the last month. So I'll discuss all of that, but let's get into the video. Today's Market Monday. All right, guys, so like I said, today's episode is really going to focus around Team of the Year. This event is only on for one week, and it will be like any, unlike any other event event that we're going to get until team of the season which is probably going to be late march early april and these cards are going to be the most sought after for essentially the rest of the game the reason being is they have jacked up synergies each one gets plus two to each of the synergies that they have on them they have a ton of great superstar abilities and zone abilities and outside of brad marchand all of them are among the best at the position that they are playing now with that being said they also come with the highest cost basically in the game right now Connor mcdavid is always going to go for about 1.5 million coins if you think back to nhl 21 Leon Dreisaitl was essentially that card, and he really did not drop below 1.5 million coins. So the thing you need to remember with these guys, with these increasing costs that you're going to see, is that once this event is done, so on January 8th when the new event comes out, and these are no longer in sets because there will not be a sunset for this. They will, once they are out, they are out of sets, they're out of packs. The only way you're going to be able to acquire them is via tradable, um, tradable from the auction house. They will almost, none of them outside of Brad Marchand will be under a million. And that's because A, you can't get them anymore, so the demand is just not going to meet the supply that's available. And B, they're going to go up for free, especially in the landscape this year where X factors have a cost to them. And as we get into the higher 90s, the cost is pretty exponential. It is very high. Once you get into like 95, 96, I mean, you saw it with McDavid with this event, it costs about 11 collectibles and you can get a collectible right now for about 25,000 coins. So you're looking at a couple hundred thousand to go up one or two overalls and that's all the way to 99. So you need to keep that in mind. These cards are very expensive. However, creating these cards with the sets is still a pretty good value when you look at it. So none of these cards are going for really under 800,000 coins. Not Vazzy, Fox, any of them right now. They're going for, you know, in the high 800s, low 900s, and honestly, it's still probably a pretty good deal. So I'm going to speak to the guys that, you know, are hut rich, let's say. Um, if you want to make some coins for the hut rich real quick, you want to buy any Victor Hedman specifically because Victor Hedman's card is one of the best. It is the best now, and it will be for the rest of the year. If you see any Victor Hedmans that are going for under a million, that's almost guaranteed coins because once he's out of packs, he will sell for over a million coins. That's almost a guarantee. Fox, not so much because he's a little bit smaller, but he's still among the best of the position. And same with Ranton. Ranton is one of the best cards in the game, no doubt. But certain play styles will use him more effectively. I've said that in my videos. So not the entire the entire player base isn't going to seek Ranton in because he just doesn't fit everyone's play style. However, he's still one of the best cards. So keep that in mind. What I want to talk to you about when it comes to making the cards now, almost every single set now has basically evened out. Now, in my video, in terms of making these that I made on the weekend, I went over all of the math and kind of found the values for each one. And you could make, you know, you could make collectibles for about 6,500 coins. That is all gone. That's the market has now evened out. And doing the sets now for certain overalls is almost all evened out to 7,500 coins. Every single one. So 85s have matched a certain amount where if you actually do the set, it's going to cost you about 7,500 coins. That turns out to about 600,000 per card that isn't Connor McDavid. So making Hedman is going to cost you about 600,000 if you have nothing. If you have no untradables, you have no cards in your collection, you're looking at about 600,000. Guys, there is not many events that I will say to sell the farm to get cards this is one of them. This Victor Hedman, guys, is going to be worth a million for the rest of the game. And it is, I've I've explained this in my video about the master set events. He is almost more valuable than McDavid because once McDavid gets to 99, 
all of the other forwards will go up to 99 and kind of catch up to him. It's the issue with Hockey Ultimate Team as we progress. Right now, this Connor McDavid card is incredible. It's one of the most insane cards to use. However, Victor Hedman, there is not going to be very many left-handed defensemen that A, can get up to B, six foot six and have over 90 skating. That just simply will not happen, which is why I think he is more important to make. So... You need to do everything you can to get Hedman done this week because, again, if you can't this week, you're just simply not going to get him. And if you're free to play, you don't play a ton, that's fine. But if you're watching this video, you're more like an avid player. You need to do what you can. So if you can sell, you know, maybe you have some cards that, you know, might be useful for you or you can make some coins on, I would do everything that you could to make these cards specifically Victor Hedman. Be sure that you're taking untradeable rewards in Rivals this week especially you should always be taking on tradable rewards but this week especially because it will give you a lot of cards that will help you lessen the blow of this victor headman set okay enough about the team of the week card or okay enough about team of the year cards the next thing i want to talk about is there well there is a unique opportunity with no 88 overall set so the last few market mondays i've been telling you guys to buy 88 overall cards uh, because, you know, they, w I thought they would be used in sets, much like how there's an 87 overall trade-in set. The fact there was no 88 plus one is kind of mind-boggling to me, but it opened up a unique opportunity, especially for new players. If you started during the holiday season, there is a unique opportunity that people are just completely ignoring the fact that these cards are actually pretty good, and just because they can't be used in set or they're not the minimum, they're going for less. It's wild to me that there is only 37 cards, we're looking at this right now on PlayStation 5, that are under 40K for, for you know, under 40K, there's only 37. Look at the 88s. There's 74. If you guys actually go and look, there will be times where 88 overall cards are going for cheaper, and if you are actually still making the sets and you're still trying to make Team of the Year cards, make sure you're not just clicking on the 87 in the set like in the actual set, you're actually going to the auction house and making sure there's not cheaper 88 overall cards because people are just completely, like, not even acknowledging it. It's wild to me. That should not be the case at all. So, while that is, you know, again, 88s open up a unique opportunity, there is a lot of 88 overall cards that are below 40K that are extremely usable that you guys that are building teams should look out for. This 88 Matthew Barzal going for 37,000 coins, one of the better ones. I've mentioned this card for quite some time. This is one of the better right-handed wingers that you can get and definitely someone that you should be looking out for, especially with elite edges. I love, the, I love this ability, especially with how the meta plays in 22. Something that you should definitely be watching out for. There's a lot of 88 overall cards that you can make some actual good impact on your teams with. And I just think that people, way too many people are just forgetting about them because they're completely blinded by, oh, they can't, they're not the minimum to be used in sets. Roman Cervenka, he's been a great card for quite some time. This is a great centerman for anyone that is free to play or just starting your team. Like, even if you're not free to play, center is just a weak position in NHL 22. And these are going for under 40K. So, the one thing I will mention is if you are trying to build up your teams, guys, you cannot really find great cards that are under 87 or under 88 overall. Like, I would not mess around and buy 85 overall cards for, like, 11,000. There is not a lot of 85 overall cards that are worth the bare minimum that are actually good enough to use and compete. So what I would do is just take my rewards, save up, save up your coins, do some squad battles, things like that, sell the untradeables or sell the tradables that you have if you're not trying to make a team of the year card which is what you should be doing guys like if you are not if you are not trying to make a team of the year card this week i would be selling all of my 85s 84s all of that because you can make a ton of coins right now and then go and fill your team out with 88s like there are some great 88 overall cards even 89s guys for uh for under 50k like it, it's crazy even under 40k which is which is wild so just be on the lookout this 89 Anze Kopitar is a wild really good center build you know going for 36,000 coins so just be on the lookout for that guys i think that there are some good values here with the 88s and 89 overall cards um, that people are just missing in terms of actually using them on your team I want to talk about X Factors as well. I've got a lot of questions about holding on to X Factors, guys. I really don't think we are going to see the bump that we normal that we were seeing all year round. I've mentioned this a couple times. So what was happening was essentially, let's say David Pasternak, for example, whenever a new card came out, like a prime time or a team of the week that raised him up and went to like tier 10, essentially, would be the next one. His X factor would go up in price because everyone was like, oh, he can get to 90 now. I'm going to go out and spend more money to get him. That's really not going to happen now. 
Um, I can see a lot of these prices just kind of tanking until we get a set that allows us to trade in X factors for power up collectibles or something. I don't know if that'll ever happen. I hope it does um, for everyone that has unusable, untradeable X factor cards. Um, but until that happens, I really don't see any of these rebounding. Like Joe Pavelski for 20K. Like if you are saving up um, or or you are still going with with that method, like if you think Mark Stone's going to get an X, or a new tier upgrade, I don't think anyone, it's really going to move the needle at all. So it's something that I would just kind of move on from. I don't really think it's worth it at all. And um, just, yeah, again, not worth it anymore. So if you've been still holding on and trying to use this method, I don't really see it working out. Still. I want to point out are the 92 to 94 Connor McDavid cards. So let's say you started in December, okay? You don't have the Connor McDavid X Factor, and you're not able to get his Team of the Year card, which a lot of people can't because he's so insanely expensive. Don't forget about these 92 overall and above cards. So this is going for 170. Guys, he's got 96 speed across the board. Nine mid 90 shot hand stats are almost maxed. And this one specifically with Thief could actually be used at center. So just like this is a very good card. You don't need to upgrade this card for the rest of the game. So there's a lot of people that are just kind of ignoring that, chasing the highest Connor McDavid. Well, obviously, the higher the, the team of the year is phenomenal because of his abilities and whatnot. But even the 93, for example, it has booming shot on it. And this is going for about 180. Same thing. And this one actually raises body checking with that booming shot. And again, quick draw, which I really like as well. It's just you need to keep that in mind, guys. I, a lot of people are just kind of ignoring these ones. And for 180,000 coins, this is a nice buy. You don't have to replace this card for the rest of the year. And then lastly, guys, for anyone that um, has not gotten a Team Builder card, now is the time to look out for them because the, the 80 to 82 overall cards that are on NHL teams that are kind of the cheaper ones that you would use to make the Team Builder sets, I'm talking about the 94 Zetterberg, the 94 Gonchar. The Zetterberg is one of the best cards in the game right now. I This is one of my favorite cards to use. He's incredible. Um, anyone that has him, same situation, love him. You could even go Gonchar, but I think because of Hedman and Fox being a little bit more available because they're among the cheaper team of the years that they might not be as important. But Zetterberg for sure. Now is the time to kind of watch out for them. So what you want to do is just go to 74 to 79 and you'll be able to fill in these for sure. They're going for about a thousand coins. And before this, before team of the year, they were going for like two. They were averaging about two thousand per slot. And again, every with everyone chasing the team of the year, they're kind of forgetting about the value in NHL gold NHL players. So just keep that in mind. Make sure that if you were trying to fill these in and do them, you can make some decent headway by people forgetting that this is still in an option in the game so again just something i want to keep in mind with the market that i've noticed that they are going for quite cheap now and they're still going to be among the best cards in the game not to mention if you make two of them you're guaranteed a 98 overall whenever they come out with that new set so guys that is going to do it for today's market monday let me know what you think in the comments section down below and make sure you check me out on stream i go live at 2 p.m eastern time every single day twitch.tv slash no sleeves 12 i hope to see you there have a good one guys